Question 23. Receptacle outlets in floors shall not be counted as part of the required number of receptacle outlets to service dwelling unit wall spaces unless they are located within blank of the wall. Is it A, 6 inches, B, 12 inches, C, 18 inches, or D, 24 inches? I had this exact question on my exam when I took the uh, California State Certification. And I am so glad that I knew the answer and I didn't have to look it up. Now, I would always be glad on any question that I would know the answer and could save time from looking it up. But this one in particular, because it seems like it's a simple question, but the looking up aspect of it gets kind of complicated. So I would initially think that I could look under receptacles and then look for floor outlets in order to find the answer to this. But before I do this, what exactly is an outlet? Most people think, well, it's a receptacle that you plug something into. Well, let's see what the NEC says about outlets. We can go to Article 100, which is the definitions, and let's look up the outlet and see what it says there. Here we are at Article 100 in definitions, an outlet, a point on the wiring system at which current is taken to supply utilization equipment. So yes, your receptacle plug at home, uh, that is an outlet, but a light switch, that's also an outlet. It's a switch outlet. The light itself is a lighting outlet. So keep that in mind. It's not just where you plug that receptacle into. And so this question, receptacle outlets. Now, according, yes, our question is talking about a receptacle in the floor, but when we're looking in the code book in the index, when we're looking for outlets, it's going to refer to every kind of outlet. So let's keep that in mind. And that's something not just for this question, but for other questions when you're taking the test. What does it really mean? Not just slang or a common term, but what does it really mean according to the code? And that could help you narrow or broaden your search depending on what you need to do. We're in the index now and we're looking under receptacles. And we come down here and there's nothing for floor receptacles. So let's go up. We're near the bottom of the page. Let's go up a little bit and uh, look at something else. The up is the other direction here. Okay, look at this right here. Outlets. Now remember, I just read what an outlet was earlier and our question talks about receptacle outlets. So it's 210.50. Now let's remember that. Even though this can be kind of a simple question, I want to show you some things that can happen on the exam and how you can uh, go on a wild goose chase that isn't quite as wild. Now let's suppose that we wanted outlets and we went there instead of looking at receptacles. Let's go to outlets on the index. Here we are in the index at outlets and we can see where there's nothing really here that helps us out and we're at the bottom of the page and we have to go to this next column so let's work our way up there and it's real easy for you and your book to, to, to do this okay and let's look at what we have here receptacle 210.50 okay now that was the number we had when we went to receptacles dwellings were required 210.52 so a lot of times it would start at 0 0.50 and continue through. So 210.52 and then also required 210 and a Roman numeral 3. These sections are probably right next to each other. So we would go and look there. Now I'm going to show you something else. And this is something that I kind of found by accident when looking for something else. It just kind of popped out at me. And this is a chance you may or may not want to take on your test. And if you're more familiar with the f code book, though, you might have said, hey, I remember looking this up in the past. And you might look for it. So I'm going to take you somewhere else in the code book right now. OK, here we are in the index, floors, receptacles. 
Remember 210.52, but now it's very specific, A3. Now, there's some other sections here. Now, if we came here first, 250 is grounding. We know that that section, and so that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a distance from a wall to count it as one of the required receptacles. And 314, that's a different section that's actually on outlets. I looked that up just to make certain, but it's totally different from our wiring and receptacles area. So if we to come here first, this would be a very good place to start. So we already had 210.52 in the other areas, so we're going to go straight to 210.52A3. So here we are, and we've gone to 210.52A3. Now you can't see the whole section, but I've taken us right to it. And it says floor receptacles. And this is almost word for word. Receptacle outlets and floors shall not be counted as part of the required number of receptacle outlets unless located within and are 18 inches of the wall. 18 inches is choice C in the answers of our exam.